Hi. So here we are, we're in the garage. I only had a gallon and a quart of acetone, which I thought I had more. I thought I had another gallon, but it was uh, paint thinner. Two things of paint thinner. I'll have to get more acetone. Get it maybe tomorrow. But anyway, here, this is just an old fire extinguisher cabinet. You know, kind of it's in the wall. You just uh, partition it off with tin foil in there. That's just the chrome weight. They'll keep, every, keep that stock down underneath the acetone. I get another gallon, I'll fill up this trough and uh, get that back piece going. But I'll cover this with uh, tin foil, the top of this, because acetone evaporates real quick. Talking about evaporation, I'm gonna go and uh, do that. I'll be back. Hi. So today, I got all the parts out of the acetone and uh, did some repairs. Like I said, I was gonna do on this little part right here. It's nice and tight now, right there. And I darkened up those lines where I had glued that together right in through here. But I mean, you're gonna see it. There's no way to get around it. I'm gonna see where that was pieced together. But you see when you soak it in the acetone, it does a pretty good job. It gets all that uh, grease and everything out of them parts. They're pretty much cleared off. But uh, it's all stained, it's ready to go for the uh, oil to put on there. Um, I did notice this on this uh, barrel. I showed you that I'd put that 03 sight on there. And then here's the front, front sight blade here. Right there. But I was having trouble seeing that on there. Um, but then I realized is this an 03 sight peep in there it's too far from where you are to where the site is for it to be a peep sight when i was younger and i could see a lot better i could see that front sight uh through that but i have this welding on there so instead of cutting that off what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh either modify this and make it a V because this is a good place for a V type sight or whatever you want to call it to see that front sight but looking through that hole from that distance back where your eye is to this when you're older it's better if you have a V so that's what I'm going to do with this I'm going to put the oil on uh this wood get it in process and then i'm going to touch up all the bluing and everything on this and that should be about it for this i mean it's uh it is what it is the whole idea was just to police it up and get it cleaned up of course i'll clean it all up but i'll post when i get her done let you see it but um just for something else i had uh I actually was lucky enough to pick up a couple barrels. Um, I picked up uh, a 257 Roberts barrel and a 22 Hornet barrel, which I think I'm going to be working on that next. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Well, I thought I'd show you how I put this oil on the stock. Um, Everybody does this a little bit differently. I just get a little bit on my fingers. I already did this little front section already. Um, yeah, you show people doing this. I mean, I really rub this stuff in. Um, 
you know, guys, they, some guys just wipe it on and then they're done. Um, I really push it in, push it into the grain, rub it around almost till it feels like it's starting to tack it, like a feeling a little tacky. But it seems to give you your best, uh, because you'll see some guys, they need to steal wool in between coats. I mean, I really work it in there and get it into the uh, grain of the wood. Like that. And then when I do set these up to dry, I found out if I keep them in a cool place, um, it takes a little longer to set up, but the longer it takes to set up, the more the oil will sink in and uh, flow out. See, you almost want to put it on so you can almost touch this thing. Push that oil into that. Because you don't want any runs or anything. But see what I mean by pushing it in? Into the grain. Get a nice, I hope you can see that. See how it's nice in there? Let's see. See what I mean? I push it in, really work it into the thing. Don't just lay it on there. You got to push that oil in there. And you get a nice finish. Well, that's all I wanted to show you how I did that. Um, oh, and I just use, this is uh, called high speed linseed oil. Um, I have the slower stuff, but I usually mix a little bit of uh, paint thinner with it to make it dry a little quicker. I don't like waiting uh, four weeks for something to dry, <laughs> but there it is. That's how I do that. See. You end up with a nice finish. You know, on the runs, push that stuff in there, man. You know, nice that looks. Looks good. Thanks for watching the video.